Welcome back. It's another video recording of Acme, the Plan 9 editor, integrated development environment. In one of my previous videos, I showed how to use the pipe operator within Acme, which looks a lot like the works a lot like the pipe operator in Unix in certain ways, to format your file. Here I was going to go into some more advanced concepts around the pipe. Not sure if you noticed in the previous video, but the pipe doesn't quite work like Unix pipe because the pipe operator takes the selection that you made here, sends it to some Unix command that you specify after the pipe command, but it also replaces what you have here with what comes out of that command. So that's not entirely like a pipe a pipe you would kind of expect that that would just output something to standard out. So here I'm going to show you some more variants of the pipe that vaguely resemble some of the redirects that you can get in Unix shell. But again it's not quite the same. So there's a so pipe takes your selection and replaces it with whatever the command does to your selection. But what if you don't want it to replace what you have in your selection? What if instead you just want to output somewhere else what that command generates? So here I'll show you a quick example. Um, if we run this edit comma command, it's going to select everything in the file. Like that, if I middle click or alt click on Mac, it's going to select every row in the file. Now let's try running this through grep. In this case here, I'm trying to find all of the style classes that this HTML file references. So I could, I could technically do a search on the class, but just to sort of demonstrate here how some of these operators work, I'll, I'll try this, this case. So instead of using pipe, I'm going to use um, a redirect here, and then I'm going to give it a Unix command. So already you're probably noticing that this is not quite like the Unix shell anymore. Um, when you use a redirect like this, it's generally going to write out a file called grep, but that's not how Acme works. Um, th this is just telling it that it should take what I have selected and, and pipe it to grep, but the output from grep should not replace what I have selected. It should just output to a new window. So let's try that right now. I'm going to uh, run this grep against the, what I've selected in the buffer here. So again, I'm uh, middle click dragging across here. It makes it red, the, uh, the command that's going to execute. And then I'll let go here. And you can see that it actually ran the grep and output it to this, this window here, the, the typical um, plus errors window for the folder that I'm running in. And this, this shows all the, uh, the style classes. So I know I have to deal with each of these. I could come up with a more sophisticated command. I could probably pipe this to something else, and uh, or a shell script that goes and just gives spits me back a unique list of all the style classes. But this is good enough for me now, and I think it kind of demonstrates the point here that um, if I want to do non-destructive processing of uh, uh, what I have selected in my in my editor, I can use this operator here, which is the uh, the redirect. And again, any standard Unix or Plan 9 command can be used here. It could even be a shell script. So this goes back to a point I've made in a few of these videos where Acme tries to work with the operating system in a sense, rather than trying to reinvent it. So rather than Acme having all kinds of sophisticated tools and plugins like other uh, IDEs have, um, it just interfaces nicely um, with the command line so that you can hook on in virtually anything that you can run from a command line. All right, so uh, this op this worked on the whole file. I remember I ran the edit comma command here to select everything in the file, but let's try something a bit a bit more interesting, perhaps. Let's say um, I'll I'll take the selection as something that's kind of important. So rather than just selecting the entire file each time, let's just select an individual piece of text. So I'm going to take this this chunk of text, this row in the HTML. And I'm going to be inserting this multiple times in the file in here um, at different positions. So I'm going to actually just 
dump this text to a text file somewhere temporarily. So again, because this uh, redirect is not the same as a shell redirect, you have to uh, you have to give it a Unix command. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put this selection through cat, and then I'll have cat redirect to um, just some text file and temp here for now. So now because there's no spaces in this particular command, I don't have to um, drag the middle click across like I showed you in the previous example. Um, I can just click it. If there's no spaces here, uh, Acme will interpret this as one single selection. Um, if there's spaces, then I have to drag. I have to sort of mouse, not mouse cord, but mouse drag across uh, with it with the middle, the middle button. Uh, again, on Mac, that's uh, you hold down the Alt key when you do this. So I'll uh, hold down the Alt, the Alt key here and click on this thing. We won't see any output because it all got redirected to this file here. But let's let's say I want to multiply insert this this row throughout my file. Like this is just going to be repeated over and over again. Perhaps it's a contrived example. I'm not sure, but uh, let's let's just see what happens here. So let's say I want to ins insert that exact same text here. Um, I have another command that is going to go and use the um, uh, the other redirect, the uh, input redirect here. Again, it has to um, get. Th this will insert text into the position here that I've selected, uh, but I have to give it a Unix command. I can't just give it a file. So I'll just, uh, just as a cute trick, perhaps I'll, I'll run cat, and I'll have cat uh, read out what that file is that I just wrote out a minute ago, and it's going to put it right here where my cursor is. So again, because there's no spaces, I don't have to drag across the middle button mouse button across, I can just uh, click on it. So I'll do that. See, so I've inserted it there. Let's say I want to put it here. So this can be kind of ma become a macro that I can use over and over again in this file. So the examples I've given here might be a little contrived. I, uh, I had uh, struggled a little bit to come up with some relevant example, but I'm, I'm hoping that at least it demonstrates um, these two additional operators on top of the uh, pipe operator in Acme and perhaps gives you an idea of the kinds of things you could use it for hopefully and that's kind of the whole the whole point of the video here is just to show things that are not entirely obvious to new Acme users demonstrate some of the capabilities so I hope you found this video interesting and uh, thanks for watching